CQ, CQ, this is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? None of the people need to see what I've seen. They need to see... This is the way it's been done for billions of years. The small moves are... It was just a normal day. Oh, I don't have my recording thing in the right place. It was just a normal, like, Saturday morning. And I knew that Able Gamers was going to be having a live stream fundraising thingy. I'm worried that my cord from my um, headset is rubbing on my phone. I really don't know what to do about it. Uh, so I was doing my normal morning stuff. I was having my coffee and chatting with friends on Facebook and Twitter and stuff and um looking to see if any new interesting videos have posted overnight and I you know I don't have a very good memory and all of a sudden the thing came through blah 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 it's on the Able Gamers Twitch feed uh streaming Minecraft they never play Minecraft in fact I think a lot of them think Minecraft is kind of a doofy game because I think these are like single person shooters and Mario Kart type people, you know, and I don't, like, one guy got on and he said, I never, I played for, for about two hours and I never played it again. And I'm like, oh my, you know, uh, the other guy's been playing for about two years and he was in creative mode and he built, um, a nice house, a nice house out of quartz blocks and he furnished it pretty standard furnishings. And everybody on the Twitch stream is like, Hey, my God, that's so cool. And I'm like, you know, basic Minecraft. Ow. And then he made a piston door, and people were like, Oh, I didn't know you could do that. And I'm trying to explain to them how cool Minecraft is. And, you know, they're used to getting... See, the problem with games is that they teach you that you're supposed to think you have free choice, but you really only have so many... um options for what you can do I should get in the game but I'm busy I'll, I'll be there in a second and you don't really have free choice you've only got certain num certain numbers of options they may like switch them up a little bit so it looks like you got you get to make your own decisions and control your own fate Minecraft isn't like that at all man if you can build it you can do it you know what I mean and if you want to be an adventurer, if you want to be a builder, if you want to be um, a mathematician, an engineer, whatever, you know? If you just want to play with bunnies and breed rabbits and feed them carrots and stuff, you know? I follow you around. Remember when rabbits used to be tamed and they would follow you around and they were always getting killed? So these people, I, I, it's always been sort of like, since I found out about Able Gamers, it's been kind of a dream of mine. To be able to play Minecraft with able gamers, because y'all have had some really bad experiences with trying to play with people who don't understand about my disabilities, and they get really impatient and rude and um, abusive. I wasn't expecting that, but it's true. So, I they have a server! They have a Minecraft server! I don't know if they have a pure I've got them mixed up with our creative part of survival. Ah, I'm drinking a Coke. It's the world where the guy built the house today. And I had a hard time logging in. Because if you're a subscriber, holy guacamole, I gotta get out of here. I gotta turn my game sounds down. Hold on a minute. Option. Music is down. Oh, it's only at 70 something percent. Okay. Well, that's going to be way too loud for video and stuff, so there you go. Why is the weather turned up? So, um, anyway, obviously, this is my house. It's not much. I mean, there's a lot of dandelions, and I scrounged around and found a little bit of glass and stuff. And this is where I started, right here. I finally have a bed. Let me see if I can make it daytime. Um, so you see it's your basic kind of standard -y kind of a thing. You can, you can give mail so that when somebody logs back in, you can leave them a message. This is as far as I've gotten to the house. That's the house the kid built in the stream today. 
Um, and then this railroad appeared. Since I moved mm. in right here, this railroad just magically appeared. And you gotta watch out over there because you can fall in a hole. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take some slabs mm. and do something about covering up that hole. Because that kid's gonna be taking a rail train and he's not even thinking it, or she, I don't know who did that. Uh, not even thinking about the fact that I'm hopping over there all the time like I'm getting cows. So I don't know if this is a barn or a house. Right now it's both. Got my pumpkins from spawn. I got, ooh, I gotta fix that. Uh, got melons from spawn. No wild ones. There's a, so when I first logged in it was real problematic here. Jeez, I'm gonna starve to death, huh? Um, I kept it. I kept getting kicked off the server. Not because I did anything wrong, but I had a poor connection to the server. Also, what was the other problem? Oh, like, I, it, there was so much lag that, like, I would break a block and it would never reappear. And there was just way too much latency. I could see on the Twitch thing what they were doing. And I would get over there and get right in front of their face and hop up and down. And about, and I'm not kidding, a minute later, you would finally see me hopping up and down. So I was seeing, while the guy was building the house, I was seeing the house as it had been like five minutes before I got there on Twitch, you know? I mean, in real life, I mean, in-game I was seeing it about five minutes later than what he'd actually built and was on um, Twitch. So that jungle's been kind of like massacred. See that poor tree? I cleaned up a bunch of that because it's just awful. I'm gonna make a jungle tree farm over there. Nice collection of biomes. I don't know if they put it on small biomes or what, but it's not like forever, forever, forever. You gotta be around. Um, oh, I was gonna cover up that hole. You gotta be around snow and that kind of stuff. It's a nice variation of biome. Hello. So I'm doing pretty well. I've died several times. I don't think I have a death counter. Which is okay, because who cares? Um, where's the hole where I try to die? There we go. Yeah, because this is not safe. I have to kind of squint my eyes to see what I'm doing here, but... I'm sorry, guy, but that thing is a death trap. So, um... I'm really sorry I have to come from your railroad, but... So look at me, I've got a server, it's $5 a month. You know, it's $4.99 to be a uh, Twitch subscriber. And when you do, the perk for that is you get to play on this server. And I was like, yes, please. Because I'm no longer associated with Zombie Cleo's server because that was one of those servers where I got a real lot of grief from people for being ignorant about people with disabilities. And saying a lot of really stupid and rude things to me. Really, they did. Um, and Cleo would not, um, do anything. She, she, I don't know. I was so disappointed. Um, so I just had to, you know, go. And, you know, I went through that with Zuma's first creative server, too. Might as well just say names now. I'm tired of covering up for people. Where people were really nasty to me because of my disabilities. That is zombie flesh, just so you know. Hey, bunny. Because zombie flesh is so ugly and I can never tell what it is. So I made it look really ridiculous. So I can see what it is. Here's the house that the kid was building today. And I kept going over there like, I felt like a ghost. It was so weird. Like, I'm here. I'm really here. He built the whole thing on stream today. People were so impressed, especially with the pool table. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, I guess he must have put in this rail car. Hello? Do they have boogers in their house? There are rabbits all over this place. Look at this. And I'm not sure. I'm waiting for him to reply to me. I sent him a tweet. Um, Bob's movie. I think that's how you pronounce him. He's the guy who made the intro for my videos. With the son. That son is, um... Uh, a Pueblo design. It's the state flag of New Mexico also. Ooh. Cheaty diamonds. Um, he, he's the one who made the intro. The animated intro for my videos. I think I saw him log off today on this server. 
Because I, of course, tweeted it out. What are you doing in here? You need to light this out, son. what I get? Another bow? Yes! Good. If I just keep combining them, eventually I'll have a bow. Ya yeah, buddy. Hey, I'm real close to a bow bow. See, and he built this and everybody's like, Oh, look at that door! Look at that door! And I'm like, yeah? So, hidden wall door. I hope I don't get trapped back in here. Doesn't really... Oh, it goes up! Ooh! Ooh, hi! So this kid has been playing for about two years. Shows too, doesn't it? Whereas a lot of the people are, they're into like World of Warcraft and stuff like that, you know? And I couldn't World of Warcraft if you put a gun to my head. You know I couldn't. But I was so pleased when I saw they had this. Gosh, I wish my computer can't stream. I wish it could. That's why I'm going to be starting to make these videos that are like, um... They have, people are leaving doors open all over the server. I noticed that earlier today, too. Um, what, 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 what? Since I can't stream, you know, I'm working on Minecraft all the time. And you guys pretty much see videos of when I'm finished, you know, because the building stuff is, it can be kind of boring to watch that. And, um, but if I speed it up, what was that? Well, I'd sure like to live up there, but it's all... That's a fist of notch. Dang it. I want a fist of notch so bad I could scream. Um, let me turn my game sounds down. We'll take a look and see what it does. Options, music and things. I don't know which one it is, so I'm turning them all down. Um, 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 um. Nobody can ever figure out which one of my cards are. So, uh, since I can't stream... I'm doing these speeded up ones, and then people reading books in the background, oh, or other stuff, you know. Oh God! Oh no no no! Oh well, well, oh jeez! Oh God! <laughs> okay, this is what? Hello. Get out of this thing next time. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where's my shift key? Because I've got this new keyboard. Oh, the creeper! Get out! Phew, there's a bunny! Aww. Okay, so where does this go? Well, I don't have another minecart, so I can't take it. But, that had to have been built and creative. I knew that because it was all powered rail. I guess it just goes to this person's house. Yep, pretty much. Well, it goes someplace. Yep, it goes to that person's house. So, I haven't really looked around much. I don't know anybody here. And let's see. Punch 2, Fortune 1, nice hit. Let's see if I can buy it off of them. They don't seem to care. Whoa. So, I just plunked down near where they were streaming because I was having so many issues with getting cut off. Um, now, it turns out the server is actually hosted in the UK. It's a donated server. You'll probably see um, information about it in the chat, in the in-game chat. Uh, I can't remember who donated the server. So, it's in the UK. But all the other multiplayer servers, I was doing pretty good. Just this one was kicking me and block lag like crazy and crafting lag and it was just nuts. It was really kind of scary. I was so frustrated. I even tried turning off my computer and restarting it. But the people who host the server said, they explained what it was, but it's a technical term and I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to quote them because I'll say it wrong. Um, but it was because so many people from the United States were trying to log onto the server at the same time. Because as soon as they announced there was a Minecraft server for people with disabilities, holy guacamole, and also people came streaming into the Twitch stream because they heard they were playing Minecraft. Yeah. So apparently, from the conversations I heard during that um, live stream, apparently, I know 
uh, I'm not bragging, I'm just saying I know a lot more about this game than a lot of the people that were in the stream discussing it, okay? Um, they were having issues learning how to craft and all kinds of stuff. So you can expect that I will probably be making some videos for them, kind of like little tutorial things, and I hope it's not boring, but um, I would like them to learn um, Minecraft well. Because anybody who thinks Minecraft is boring, they just, mm -hmm. they're not, they're not getting the, the, the experience, you know, they're not getting the real experience of Minecraft, and that's a darn shame. Okay, I have to make my bones into what's it, because I'm running out of places, I might as well just cut down with the forest and make some things, you know. Um, arrows are in the right place, don't mess with them. Um, the bone meal is where? Okay. Now, I'm not really about building in this episode. Look at that. Isn't that the nicest sky? It's a custom sky. If you want to know about it, I'll tell you about it sometime. I'll keep forgetting to tell you I did that. I mean, it's pretty obvious I did it, but I keep forgetting to tell you about it. Um, I do want to fix this. Wait a minute. Let me wake up. Let me wake up. Let me wake up. Oh, is somebody else? Nope. Nobody else is here. Um, so yeah, this is my lemon house. It's all going to be lemony. First I thought, well, maybe I could do it rainbow colors, and I said, that's such a cliche. So I'm just making a lemon house. I don't usually like yellow, but now that I'm, like, doing this, oh, I want to put vines on that, too. On this dirt, I'm going to leave it dirt, but just put vines on the wall. And I put all this wood here so I can... Oh, I forgot to show you the best part. I came down here because there was a little, like, coal sticking out. I'm going to dig a little more deeper. A little more deeper. I does English good. I think every time I come through here, I ought to dig it down one more layer. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Rather than digging it out all at once because that's so boring, you know? Um... You gotta see this. My first day on this server. Did you see it? It was only one exposed block. <sighs> Isn't this cool? It's just a zombie spawner, but on my very first day on the server, so I'm clearing it out because I'm going to make a whiz bang, uh, a doohickey, a thingamabob, uh, what you call it? You know what I'm saying. I made a tunnel over there too, so that's why it's focal. So, that was the original entrance, and I came in this way so I could poke feet. Isn't this great? My own personal private zombie spawner. As a matter of fact, you know what would be smart to do? Where's the central block right there? Maybe I should do it in a corner. Yeah, a corner as far away from the house as I can get. No, as close to the house as I can get. Which is here, I think. Um... Okay, put a torch so you don't kill yourself. Alright. It's pretty deep. I mean, it's not way deep. But I think I can... I think I might be able to be AFK in the house. And it'll spawn. Um, de dum Alright. So let's see where this lets us out. Because I'll make one of those water elevator -y thingy doodles, you know. And just transport them up and then drop them. Might drop them back down here. Because it looks like we've gone about 15 blocks up already. You know? Because well, I put a torch every fifth thing. Yeah, so that's 20. And I think it's got to be like 28, right? Okay, so it's right here. Oh yeah, that's close enough to the house. Did I run out? Of yeah. Okay, I have to make a new shovel. So yeah, and I've got my little underground thing where I was just digging. You know, I was trying to go back to the zombie spawner, but I got involved in a bunch of other stuff. You know how it is, you start doing one thing, you end up doing, hello, 
you start doing one thing and you end up doing like 20 other things that you weren't planning on doing. Little vines will be nice on that. And I can, of course, make this as tall and as big as I want. I'll just keep adding um, stories onto it. I just run around this and get them all. So, yeah, I don't think it would be too hard to make a little well water elevator and bring them up and then just throw them on their heads and whack them. I was so tickled when I saw, I mean, you know, usually on a server, people would have found that, like, way before I got here. <clears throat> so I'm really lucky. I'm kind of lucky that these people are kind of noobs at Minecraft and didn't really, I mean, they all kind of stuck together over there in the town area, and I sort of had all this out here to myself. I don't think people are much in the... Well, this isn't also... This also isn't a um, straight survival. People can do creative out here. Mixed. Once they trust you. So, they haven't given me creative perms yet, but... Um, frankly, I don't even know if I want them. Oh, I keep thinking that's so. Let's see. Okay, so... Hi. So, yeah, I'll build me a spawnery doodle... XP farm... And then, oh, oh yeah, the uh, jungle. There's nice little caves all around here. I I wake up in the morning and there's like zombies in there. <laughs> in the swimming bowl. Uh, I pretty much, this is all forest and I pretty much deforested it. Because, you know, skeletons hide under the trees in the morning. Yeah, they did some evil things to these poor little trees. But I'm getting most of the um, saplings. I've got a good collection of saplings. And I think I will start a um, jungle tree farm out here. Look at me. I'm in the jungle and I'm moving around. Do you see this? I avoid jungles. Now, sometimes it's better than other times. But they restarted the server and did something. I don't remember what. I wasn't online when they did it. I wasn't even on Twitch. I tried everything. I even restarted my computer. I'm not kidding. I could not stay hooked onto this server. I've never had it that bad. I mean, I really have never had it that bad. Look at me hopping around in the jungle. Look at me. Wow. <gasps> Look at this. Wild pumpkin. Okay, now I feel... I always feel guilty if I'm growing pumpkins and I didn't earn them. You know? That's one of the things about being on a server. You start out and there's already all this free stuff that's easy to get. It's just not right. I wonder what's over this hill. Lost. Oh, another beacon. Oh, it's contraption heaven over here. Hmm. I don't know. The server was donated to us by... Creeperhost.net. Click me to visit. That'll take you to their website. So it's um they did it in exchange for you know promoting their server. Makes sense. Wonder why I don't see any cocoa beans. Somebody must have stripped all these trees. That's the tiniest little. Oh well. And the thing was, see, I started playing on here, and then all of a sudden it hit me. All of the people on here are either people with disabilities or people who understand about people with disabilities, you know? And it was, like, so profound. It was really a moving thing for me because it's the first time I will have played Minecraft without people mocking and ridiculing me or putting me down or calling me names or telling me I'm not trying hard enough or I think I'm a special snowflake or all the stupid, ridiculous things people say about people with disabilities, that won't happen on this server. And I said it in in-game chat, and I said it in the Twitch chat, too. I said, I'm playing on a server with people with disabilities. And it's the first time in my life. And nobody responded. It was like, yeah, so? And it suddenly occurred to me that these folks have been playing oh, lots of stuff with each other for quite some time now, and they're used to it. For me, it's like, 
oh, shoot, what a relief to find a little bit of community and family. Oh, and the other thing is, it's not going to be a big deal about the LGBT stuff either because Stephen, the guy who started Able Gaming, is a retired veteran with disabilities. Oh, and he is married to a man. So I'm not going to have to listen to a bunch of junk. You know, or e I'm not going to have to ask people not to be rude and, you know, to use good manners and not to use insults. And I'm not going to have to do any of that here. These are um, people who have read, they're informed, they know about stuff, um, they know about social contracts with people and how not to be abusive to people. Um, they're not threatened by difference because everybody here has differences and so what? There's none of that stupid stuff about women. Um, you know, that girls can game? Heck, sure. Why would you think any other way? You know? So, I'm not saying I found heaven. But, you know, I tried to be on an LGBT server once. And I had to take a lot of junk about my disabilities. Um, and on regular people with just general population servers... It's all the time a struggle to feel like I'm even welcome there. Because there's I'm I'm there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just an ordinary person. I just am I've got these things in my life that are different than things in other people's lives. And why should any of that matter? It shouldn't. Um and here it's a given, you know, you get to be who you are, yeah. So why would that be on front page news? You know what I mean? Of course you get to be who you are. Whatever gender you are, whatever sexual orientation you are, whatever your abilities and disabilities are, whatever your race, religion, all that stuff. No big deal, you know? So I'm very happy to that they got this server donated. Um, when I first found out about Able Gamers, they didn't have this. So I was like, I, I don't know them very well, and I didn't want to be pushy and say... You guys need to play Minecraft. I didn't want to do that. You know, I should just know. You know? But I really wanted some people with disabilities to play Minecraft with. Because it's the only game I play. It's the only game. Well, it was a gift. You know, that's the only reason I play it. It was a gift. Um, so I'm not real into watching or watching people stream or talk about or make videos about other games. Because I'm not going to buy them. I don't have any money. Um... And as far as I'm concerned, gee whiz, you can play Minecraft the rest of your life and never see it all. Mm -hmm. With all the mods and even just plain old vanillas, you know. It's always different. I mean, there's old versions that have their own challenges. And there's always new versions with new challenges. Especially things like lag and bugs. and But you know what I mean. So, here I am on Able Gamer server. Like I said, it's $5 a month, so it's not like... I was paying five dollars a month to be on Cleo's server, and I wasn't happy there. And um, I have much more of a chance of doing the things that I like to do in game by being here instead, mm -hmm. um, and do it with people who won't like insult me or feel threatened because I'm different, or ugh, you know. I'm gonna plant these cocoa beans. Do I have more cocoa beans? Yes, I do. I found those in the chest that was in the um, zombie spawner. Those cocoa beans. You know, I don't see any reason why. Was that the right kind of wood? I don't know. No, that was oak. I knew the minute I put it down. So basically, you're telling me I only have one. Wait a minute. Jungle. Okay. All right, so we'll put these in these corners. Jungle, jungle. Okay, I just don't want anything in my hot bar that's a boo-boo. Mostly for decoration, but whenever I need cocoa beans, here they'll be. I don't work with yellow very much, and I'm starting to actually... Oops. I'm starting to actually enjoy this. It looks really nice. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to furnish it. Uh, but... 
right now it's just full of animals. I guess upstairs will be where the humans will live, maybe? I think I did this one wrong, but... You guys are such a pain. They're in that pool this time. You just go from pool to pool. Ah, oh, okay. So here I am! Oh, I should sleep. So pretty much all I need now, all I need now is chickens, right? Is somebody else here? Uh, I think somebody else is here. Well, I don't know, it's going dark. No, they're not gonna go. Alright, leave the bed. My floor, I like my floor ceiling thing. I'll try to have a skylight that goes all the way up. I think I'm gonna be happy here, I'm not for sure. So far everybody I've met has been real helpful and um just interested in stuff and I don't know. You know, they're people, just like all people. Just whoop just because you have a disability doesn't mean you're like a special angel or something, you know, you're just a person. I mean, you got extra stuff you have to do and extra challenges you have to deal with and stuff. And the hardest part of those challenges, of course, is the attitudes of the people around you. I mean, it's physically hard to have disabilities, but um, the stuff about not being accepted or being seen as either lazy or what's the other thing? Oh, I don't know, demon possessed or dangerous or weird, just weird. People are afraid of what they think is weird. That stuff wears me out. So it'd be nice not to have to do that. Whoops, I can't back up, boy. Yeah, I can. So here's my little house on the Able Gamer server. And I'm not far from spawn, so if you decide you want to join, look, the stars twinkle. If you decide you want to join, um, you can make, you can do letters, so send me a letter or a message or mail or whatever it's called. Let me know where you are and stuff and I'll try to find you. Wow, a server for people with disabilities, I can't even tell you. Alright, I guess that's it for me. Um, thanks for watching. I hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye! <laughs> Lots of truthiness. I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adore. Get it!